guys, Kelsey Herber here with our series on celebration. We've been talking about this concept because we know God ultimately has called us to celebrate in our lives. And so we've been talking about different ways that we can do this. We discussed being present, noticing the good, and choosing hope. Well, today we're gonna to talk about the fourth way that we can intentionally celebrate in our lives, and that is to trust. Now, anytime I hear the word trust, I think about a trust fall. And I have a story for you. When I was in second grade, I went to a Christian school and we were doing a Bible lesson. And my teacher asked for a volunteer and I raised my hand. So she had me actually step outside of the room. And so she talked to the rest of the class and then she asked me to come back in. And I came back in and I was standing up there with my teacher while all the other students were sitting on the floor looking at me. And she said, here's a piece of candy on this chair. All I'm going to ask you to do is to do a trust fall. I will catch you, and if you do that, you can have this piece of candy. And in my mind, I thought, simple enough, I got this, Mrs. Baker. All of a sudden, every single kid in my class started yelling, no, don't do it. She's not there. She's not going to catch you. Looking back as an adult, I can now understand that the lesson being taught was, how do you still choose to trust God even when the world tells you not to? Um, now, little Kelsey couldn't quite interpret that. And so what she did is she felt very overwhelmed. Uh, I cried and I still got the piece of candy because my teacher felt bad. Um, so that was, that's my trust fall story. So I'm curious if you have one for yourself. But in light of trust, it's a challenging thing to do. And I think we tend to fall into one of two camps, either trust is earned, or you have my trust automatically until you break it. And I'm curious which camp you may fall into. And I'll be honest, I fall into that camp of you have my trust unless you break it. Has that bit me sometimes? Yes. Um, however, it's just interesting how different people can be when it comes to this concept of trust. And the reality is, it's a challenging thing to do. I think about this open hand analogy. The things we care about the most in life, we tend to have this clenched fist around. We say, no, this is so important to me that I need to have control over it. I need to protect it. But what we don't realize is we're actually squashing it. We're not allowing light to touch it. Whereas when we hold the things we care about the most with an open hand, that's where God can touch it. That's where God can work. And this act of doing this with the things that we care about most is one of the scariest things we'll do. And it's also one of the most freeing things that we'll do. My dad taught me this acronym of the word faith and it's forsaking all, I trust him. And I think that's such a good reminder when we're in circumstances where it's really challenging to trust that God's got it, we can remind ourselves that forsaking all, I trust him because he is trustworthy. Some discussion questions for you this week. Number one, do you have a trust fall story like I do? Number two, do you tend to operate as if trust is earned or as if everybody has your trust unless they break it? And then number three, what aspect of your life is it challenging to hold with an open hand? And my challenge for you this week is to simply physically hold out an open hand and repeat to yourself faith in the moments where it's hard to trust in God, because that is one of the ways that we can choose to intentionally celebrate in our lives.